Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to how to use private Mac address on iPhone and iPad. iPhone and iPad users can further safeguard their privacy by using a private Mac address feature in iOS and iPadOS. This should be particularly useful if you are frequently connecting to different public Wi-Fi networks and you don't want the device's MAC address tracking to be used. That all being said, it's time to learn how to use MAC address on iPhone and iPad. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, make sure your device is running iOS 14 or later or iPadOS 14 or later. To get going, launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad and then tap on Wi-Fi located right below the airplane mode toggle to adjust your Wi-Fi settings. Here, tap on the eye icon next to the Wi-Fi network you are currently connected to. Here, you will see a privacy warning as long as private Wi-Fi address is turned off. Then tap on the toggle for private address to enable this feature. Now you will get a pop-up message prompting you to rejoin the Wi-Fi network with a private MAC address. Tap on rejoin to disconnect and reconnect to the network. That's pretty much it. So that's how you can use private MAC address on your iOS or iPad OS device. It's worth pointing out that every time you connect to a Wi-Fi network, regardless of the device you are using, your device has to identify itself to the network using a MAC address. The MAC address is typically a hardware address associated with your device and by default, the same MAC address is used as you switch between different Wi-Fi networks, which could be a security or privacy risk since it identifies your device. Furthermore, do know that network operators and observers can easily track your activity and access your location over time since the same MAC address is used. However, Apple has managed to address this issue with the iOS 14 and iPadOS 14 and later system software versions by allowing device to use a unique MAC address for each network. This is sort of like with a random address if you are on the geekier side and familiar with that process, except it's automated and doesn't require any tinkering at a command line. It's worth pointing out that it's time you disable and re-enable the private MAC address feature. A new Wi-Fi MAC address will be used with the network. This is why you are prompted to reconnect to the Wi-Fi network. Resetting the network settings on your device will also change the private Wi-Fi address address it uses for the connection. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone and iPad hacks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.